By default, the terminal program automatically saves the last 10 commands in the command history buffer. This is convenient because it lets you reuse commands instead of retyping them. It also lets you see what commands you've used in the current session. Use the show history command to display all the commands currently in the history buffer. You can select commands in the list by pressing either Ctrl P to move to the previous command in the list or Ctrl N to move to the next command. An even quicker method is to use the arrow keys to move up and down through the list. When you find the command you want, press Enter to activate the command. We'll type Show History again in Privileged Exec mode. It lists the commands we have used in User and Privileged modes. Cisco lumps these two modes together for the command history. However, the important thing to remember is that the command history is specific to the configuration mode you're in. You can't reuse a command from Privileged Exec mode if you're in a different configuration mode. Let's go into Global Configuration mode by typing config t. You can't use the show command in the global or individual configuration modes. However, you can still use the command history by pressing the up and down arrows. This is especially useful when you need to repeat or remember configuration tasks. As an example, let's configure the router's first serial port. We'll type Interface Serial 0 to enter configuration mode for the port, then enter the configuration commands. Now we'll switch to the second serial port. Using the arrow keys, we'll repeat the commands we used for the first serial port instead of retyping them. As you can see, the command history is a useful feature. By default, it stores the last 10 commands for the session. You can change the size of the command buffer or disable the history altogether. Let's go to Privileged Exec mode to change the default number of commands saved. The Terminal History Size command lets you change the size of the command buffer by typing the number of commands it includes. For example, we'll expand the buffer to keep track of the last 50 commands by typing Terminal History Size 50 and pressing Enter. Use the Terminal No History command to turn off the command history. Notice that now when I try to recall the last commands, nothing happens. Use the Terminal History command to turn the History feature back on. Notice that the commands I had typed before turning off the history are still saved. For the certification exam, you will need to remember how to view the command history, how to recall previous commands, how to modify the history buffer size, and how to enable and disable the command history. Be sure you memorize the information shown here.